I just built two insane Go High Level websites and trust me, you've never seen anything like this before. So, whether you are a Go High Level web designer, a business owner or you just love cool websites, this is going to blow your mind. Let's dive in! But first, let's take a look at a Go High Level website built straight from a basic template from their library. I mean, come on, tell me this doesn't look basic. It's the same boring layout everyone is using. And this is basically why people think Go High Level websites aren't that good, but they are wrong. And with the right approach, you can build something insane, and in this video, I'm about to prove it. So this is the first website, and I'm also going to show you exactly how I built it in Go High Level. As you can see, it's a simple hero section for now, that contains a gradient background, and also a mountain range that sits in front of the headline. As you can see, this Reach New Heights headline goes behind the mountains as we scroll. This is called a parallax effect and in Go High Level you can apply such an effect only to the backgrounds, but with the help of JavaScript codes you can also achieve this effect on any section you want. And as you can see, we did this for an entire section right here that goes behind the mountains. You can have subtitles, you can have, you can even have a button that it's clickable and as you scroll the button goes down behind the mountains. You can add really really cool effects like a sun so you can replicate the sunset and you can change the background color as you go down, there are tons of cool effects that you can add to enhance even further this cool hero section. So let's go into high level and show you exactly how I've achieved this effect. The first thing that I created was the header section and then the main section that contains the gradient and also the headline and obviously if you want to add buttons you can also do that and I'm gonna show you in just a second. The reason why I made two sections, one for headline and one the main section, is because initially I wanted to have a sticky header and the only way to achieve it was by having a different section specifically for the header, as you'll see in the next website. So, after we have two sections, I, I can't click on the navbar because it's behind the, um, the main section right here, but you can see it here if you click on this section here you can see that we have indeed two sections i added the um, i added the navigation menu right here and then the main section that contains the gradient is shifted by 150 pixels you can see if we put it at zero that the that the navigation menu doesn't have the same background right so we add minus 150 pixels and then the header also has the same color. Basically we shifted this big section upwards a bit and we also added 200 pixels padding top and 500 pixels padding bottom, right? And as you can see we have a nice clear background. This is achieved by adding this class gradient background and I will show you exactly what this class does. You can pause the video and copy this exact code if you want to have the same background. It's a linear gradient with two colors, so it's very, very simple. I also added this header on top class. This is specifically for the header, right? So it stays on top of the main section. So we can see it and obviously so we can click it. The next thing that I did was to create a third section this one right here, which is shifted minus 500 pixel upwards. So we set the margin to minus 500 pixels and also has 140 pixels padding top and 700 pixels padding bottom. This is just to encapsulate the whole image in it, right? And not just have a very, very thin section. Obviously we can play around with this depending on what we have as the next section. But for now I added 700 pixels so we can see the whole mountain range. And as you can see it has an image and that image fills 100% of the width. 
we don't want this to be parallaxed right because it ruins the effect we want it to be full centered or 100% of the width right both options work perfectly fine what is so special about this picture well it doesn't have a background and the way I achieve this is through Canva or you can do it through Photoshop you get a picture with mountains or with houses or something that would make sense with such an effect right in this case I took a mountain range and I eliminated the background and I exported it as a PNG with transparent background this way we don't have a background behind this mountain range and this is the exact reason why our gradient background from the previous section goes behind the mountain range and the last thing on the list is to create a custom code element like this which contains this javascript function you can pause the video once again and write this function yourself or if you have my notion template link in the description you can see a full tutorial of this effect on this page called cool section parallax effect and the result is this stunning looking hero section with the text going behind the mountain range and as i promised you i'm gonna i'm gonna also add a button so you can see that it also works with a button so you can add tons of cool features to this exact hero section and as you can see we have a button here it doesn't have any animation for now but obviously you can add and if we scroll down it goes behind the mountain so it gives the website a sense of depth a sense of perspective it makes it look more 3d let's say on the next website that i made i implemented this crazy looking effect it's a small circle with a label next to it that follows the mouse and the cursor is basically like a magnet for this circle as you can see wherever you go on this section the the little circle and label follow you and if you hold down your button the text disappears and also there's a small animation for the circle and if you hold it for longer as you can see the images start to cycle which is a really really cool effect this specific hero section i designed to be for a potential travel agency and as you can see it says right there hold, right there hold to travel and then you can explore the different destinations that this travel agency has and as you can see the text here also changes based on where you travel so it adds a really really cool and interactive effect to this website and obviously there are multiple use cases for such a hero section for example you can have a photo live a photo gallery if you are a photographer and you want such an effect on your website you can you can instead of hold to travel hold to see my portfolio or something like that and then you hold click and then your portfolio starts to show right and in my opinion it's a very very unique way to display an image gallery i took inspiration from this website as you can see it has a similar effect this is uh, where i took my inspiration obviously they have a much much cooler effect but it, it was pretty hard to implement it in go high level so i sticked to something much much simpler in terms of uh, image animation as you can see sometimes sometimes it's a bit unstable because of the of the image resolution so if you want to create such an effect make sure that the image resolution is not too big and also don't turn off image lazy loading i turned it off just because it looks better but performance wise the website loads a bit slower but yeah this is the effect this is the hero section now i'll show you exactly how i've built it so similarly to the previous website we have two sections one for the header and one main section for our main hero section the header 
is uh, sticky this time and if you click on it you you can see it has a blurred class and if we check that class you can see it has some uh, properties that make it blur and I didn't show you here on the, on the preview as you can see the header is sticky and it also has a blur effect with a very soft margin so that it doesn't look that sharp when it goes above text and of course this effect you can also find in my notion template that you can get from the link in the description next thing that I did is shift the main section by 100 pixels right minus 100 pixels mar margin top so that it stays behind the header so the header also has that nice looking background and I also extended it further down to 400 pixels and padding top 200 pixels so the text is not too cluttered up here the next thing was to create two titles one main title and one subtitle and after that I added a custom code and this code contains a very big JavaScript function, mouse animation, and also for the image cycling. And again, if you want to get this code, you can get it from the link in the description in my Notion template. And if you already have the Notion template, you just go to this page, Magnetic Cursor with Interactive Background, and there is a full tutorial about how to create this page and next if you're interested in how to build a website in go high level from scratch then watch this video